happy people i'm back with another video and today i have my i believe this is now my fourth your nail lab subscription box and it has come in the mail um i decided that i want to start doing the unboxings a lot earlier in the month because yeah i'm seeing that i'm just not unfortunately having time to actually do my nails with what comes in the box but i at least want to get the video out and show you all what's included in case you all are interested in picking it up as well so i am going to go ahead and get this unboxed um, for you all here on camera so last month i was very happy with the box that i got and so i'm excited about this month to see what they have inside um i still at some point want to do looks with the boxes but we'll see when i have a chance to do that so this is what's included this month Alrighty, so let's see, we got our Your Nail Lab, okay, Nails by Vic. Okay, it looks like they have a collaboration with Nails by Vic. Um, it says, hey everyone, it's Nails by Vic with this month's Your Nail Lab box. I'm so excited to be able to share my favorite items with you. Um, I wanted to include items that will inspire you to create fun and beautiful nail sets. Two of my favorite things around nails and nail art, both achievable with this month's box. I would love to see your nail creations. Okay, hey, that's pretty cool. And so it says, um, if you all want 15% off, at mccart.com use her discount code um and then tag her on at poly gel vic so actually i feel like i've watched a few of her youtube videos and then recently funny enough my husband actually showed me some of her um posts on instagram her designs are really nice so yeah that's pretty cool congratulations nails by vic on your um collab with mccart that's pretty huge um and then on the back it just has that card here i love this color scheme that they have and of course it says your nail lab in a box and then y'all Let's see. Let's see what Vic got got in store for us this month. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hit the ground running with this one. So we have some nail tips, and they're square. Wow. Okay. And I think these are extra extra long. Let's see. These look like some really nice nail tips. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Wow, okay, so that's what the nail tips look like. Got a nice C curve on it, nice length. I believe these are extra, extra long. So yeah, that's what they look like compared to my little short nubbies I got on right now. Wow, okay, yeah, I don't know that I've, I've worked with tips this long before. So these actually look like my uh, uh, long square tips that I use from Shein, whoops. And actually, let me pull those out really quick and just kind of do a comparison. Okay, so these right here are the tips that I normally use from Shein. And these are the ones that's included in this month box. Wow, that's a big difference. But I absolutely love these square tips. So I'm excited to have them in an extra, extra long version. That's pretty cool. Like I use these anytime I'm sculpting my nails. I'm someone who really likes the square shape on my natural nails. And so, yeah, anytime I'm sculpting, I go for this long square. So it's cool to have it in an extra, extra long. I don't know when I would walk around with some extra, extra long nails. But it's going to be cool to try to scope with this. But yeah, that's that's a pretty cool length. So again, this is the one that came in the box. And these are the ones that I typically use that I get from Shein. So yeah, y'all. That's going to be fun. I, li I like these tips a lot. I like them a lot. So yeah, happy to have these. Oh, wow. Okay, this is cool. Okay, so next, right off the bat, I see Blooming Gel. So y'all know I am not good at all with like marbling or ombre, any of that type of stuff. So um, they included blooming gel in this month's box and it is a 15 ml bottle. So it's nice full size. And again, y'all, I really love this packaging with that kind of rose gold situation. It's kind of cool because it actually fits the color scheme that's in my nail room. And so yeah, I like this a lot. And so let's see what the consistency of it is like. Oh, it's really thick. Oh, that's surprising. I don't know why I thought it would have been of a looser consistency, but it's very, very thick. Yeah. Really slow drop there. Let me see. Okay. That's pretty cool. But I love that you get a full-size bottle. So I'll be interested to try that out and see if I can... <laughs> If I could try my hand at blue at uh, marbling or either like the tortoise shell nails, um, I'm not good at that stuff. So yeah, I'm I'm excited that they included that in this box. What else we got here? <gasps> Rhinestone glue. Okay, y'all. I know that y'all know that this stuff is like super popular. Almost everybody uses the McCart rhinestone glue. That's exciting to have. Wow. Okay. So let's see if I can get this open. Wow. Well, you know. All right, I'm satisfied again so far. This is exciting, okay. Let's 
open this up and see. Oh my gosh, the beloved McCart rhinestone glue. Holy smokes. Yeah, and it's a 1.06 ounce container, so it's 30 grams. Yeah, that's a lot. And what I really like about it, I've seen a lot of people use it. You see how it has this like pointed nozzle here? So you can really kind of get precise of where you place the rhinestone glue at whenever you're trying to, you know, place your gems and stuff. And people, like I said, they rave about this. Curious to see how thick it is, so let's see. Oh, it's really thick. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's really thick. All right, well, that's gonna be cool. So then that makes me feel like whenever I wanna adhere like, you know, a bigger rhinestone or a bigger gem or a charm that this will hold it in place quite nicely. So that is really cool. That's really sick. I like that. Okay, cool. So yeah, y'all, the next time I use some bling, y'all know I love me some bling in my set. So I'm really excited to have this. I'll be getting lots of use out of this rhinestone glue. Super excited to have this in my collection. Wow, that is pretty cool. Okay. Next here, speaking of bling, they included some beautiful rhinestones here. These are some nice light pink rhinestones that have a really cool iridescent, kind of purpley, almost greenish blue shift to it. These are really pretty. Y'all know I love me some bling. So this is perfect for the summertime. Love the colors, come with a lot of different sizes in here. So yeah, that's really nice. Got some bling, y'all. Okay, what else we got here? Next we have, it looks like Blanc. So I'm guessing this is a white polish and it's zero, no, I'm sorry, and it's eight ML. Let's see what this color looks like. Okay. A nice white pure, a nice pure white color here. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, I like it. Yeah, I like this. All right, so we got this. Next we got here, it looks like Daydream, so another poly gel. You know what's interesting about this is I recently picked up one of their new poly gels from Amazon. And this was one of the ones I was considering purchasing, but I ended up going with a different color. And so I'm excited that they included that in this month's box because I thought this would be a really pretty nude for my skin tone. And so, yeah, y'all, I am going to definitely be swatching this. It is a 30 ml bottle. Um, so that's 1.06 fluid ounces. So I'm gonna swatch that in just a second here. Then what else we got? We have a dotting tool, it looks like. This is really pretty. Oops, I just threw that down and I'm too excited. <laughs> Looks like we have a dotting tool on one end and a nail art brush on the other. You can never have enough nail art brushes. Y'all know I love doing some quick, easy nail art designs, so that's nice to have with the dotting tool here. Looks like that fell out of here. Let's put that back in here, like so. And then the last thing we have here, which, okay, so I think that's everything. I'm gonna move that out the way. So the next thing we have here is it was a raw glitter, okay? And it looks like it's this really pretty iridescent glitter here. So let me go ahead and get this open. And it's called Moonbeam, okay? So let's see what this is looking like. Okay, yeah, that's messy. I was hoping it wouldn't be, <laughs> but it is. Let's see, this is really pretty though. Wow. Oh. Look at that, you guys. That is a really pretty, kind of looks like mer mermaid scales almost. This is a really pretty glitter. It has like the chunky hexagons, the smaller ones. Looks like it has some light fluffy flakes in there. Fine glitters. Oh, this is really pretty. I love that. So I'll be excited to play around with that. Y'all know I'm getting more into loose glitter, so I'm happy to have that. And then let me go ahead and swatch this poly gel for you guys really quick. So I am going to go ahead and swatch this uh, raw glitter. And that is in the color, again, Moonbeam. And I do have a clear acrylic here. Actually a new clear acrylic that I got is from Koopa. Okay, and I just wanna test it out really quick just to see how it works and picks up. So I'm gonna be picking up my raw glitter with my acrylic. I got my monomer here already ready to go. So let me put this in frame so y'all can see how I do this, okay? So I'm just gonna go in and tap off a little bit of that, pick up a bead, okay? And then pick up some of the glitter. Ooh, that's pretty. And then I'm gonna just roll the glitter on here. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. I mean, it really looks like mermaid scales. Oh, 
this Koopa powder really nice to work with, I'll tell you that. All right, so that is the raw glitter. Now I'm gonna go in and swatch the poly gel in the color Daydream. I already prepped my swatch stick with a little bit of base coat just to ensure that it doesn't slide out. And then I'm gonna go in with this. Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, I really like the consistency of these poly gels. I'll just put a little bit of alcohol on my brush and we're just gonna smooth it on out here. Like so. Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. I'm also gonna go ahead and swatch the white color here. Put it on the inside here. That's a pretty opaque white. Yeah, look at that. That's one coat. That's pretty opaque. I'm mad at that. And so I thought it might be kind of cool to try out this blooming gel. Um, as well just to test it for you guys to see how it would be on a black swatch stick with maybe white marble So I'm just gonna put some of the blooming gel on here and actually I want to prep this because I'm gonna use the dotting tool that came in the kit that came in this month's box as well So let's see so I'm gonna go in with one layer of the blooming gel over the entire swatch stick, okay? And then I'm gonna put like just dots of the white color on here and see how it spreads. I'm assuming you need like a generous amount. So I'm just gonna put a thin layer of the blue gel all over, okay? Like so. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the white and then maybe I'll take just some on my dotting tool here, like so. Okay, and then just kind of dot it on this, the swatch stick here. Let's see what happens. So we'll put something here, something here, something here. I don't know how this is supposed to work. I'm not so good with blooming gels and stuff. So I'm just gonna put it on here and see what happens now. Okay, you can see it dispersing evenly on here. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I do a line up here, what happens? Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like a little another dot right here. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. It works. <laughs> it's definitely blooming, okay? Yeah, that's really cool. Look at that. It kind of does look like the tortoise you know, look a little bit. Let me go ahead and cure it before it blends into the other ones too much. So all of the colors have been swatched. First, I wanna start off with the Daydream Poly Gel. That is what this color is looking like. It's really, really beautiful. It's like a really nice, um, kinda soft, um, slightly peachy nude color. So that's what it looks like up close. Yeah, I really like this color a lot. And that's what it would look like against the skin tone here. Really pretty. And next we have the beautiful raw glitter. This is absolutely stunning. It's in the color Moonbeam, okay? And that's what it looks like up close. Really beautiful, y'all. I mean, I just love the iridescent shift in it. The greens, the slightly blue. It really just looks like mermaid scales to me. And then that's what it would look like if it was top coated has a glossy top coat. That's really pretty. I love this glitter a lot. That's, that's really nice. And then the gel polish that came in the box was called Blanc. And that's what that looks like. It's a really nice white. It seems like a nice pure white color. Kind of a soft white actually. So that's what that looks like. And then I did test out the blooming gel, you guys, and I was actually pleasantly surprised at how well it bloomed, okay? So that's what it looked like when I just used my dotting tool and just put the dots all over and let it spread. It kind of gave like that tortoise looking design. I really like how this look. It kind of makes me want to do a set with this look right here. But yeah, that's how the blooming gel is. All right, you guys. So yeah, I am very impressed with everything that came in this month's box. I do feel like it had a nice variety of different things that came in the box. We got everything from, um, 
extra extra long square tips to beautiful poly gels got some gel polishes blooming gel which worked absolutely amazing raw glitters the infamous McCart rhinestone glue super excited to have that and to try it out as well as some nice bling y'all so yeah these are all the swatches here and how it came out and I almost forgot about this um, nail art brush and dotting tool so I do believe that this was a great box um, nails by Vic you did a great job with curating this box with McCart I'm very satisfied with everything that came and yeah y'all we got it for another month so we're gonna see what next month's box bring in august um i do like i said want to start trying to do actual looks with my boxes i just came back from a family vacation um from disney and so yeah i'm still getting back into the swing of things i don't really have a lot of time on my hands right now to film a look but you all will be seeing me implement these items into future looks um and if i can hopefully later this month i can do a look with this month's box and yes um i just came back from family vacation at Disney so that's what these nails are from and so if you all want to see a full tutorial of how I got these I am going to leave them linked down in the description box. I've really been enjoying the Your Nail App box. A couple of the months were misses but so far they're still knocking it out the park for me so I will be keeping it for another month and so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family. I love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day 